A sealer for a wooden deck is not the same as a stain, even though they both will protect the wood from the elements. It's the differences, however, that determine whether it's a deck sealing versus staining task. Number 1, most popular. What is deck sealer? A deck sealer protects wood from moisture, precipitation, insects, mildew and mold, and rot. Most sealers go on clear and dry clear, showing off the wood grain. However, they don't have a pigment to protect against wood grain UV rays and sun damage. The sun can dry the natural oils found in wood, causing it to gray, dry out, split, crack, or check. Water will bead if the wood is sealed. They can be applied to horizontal and vertical wooden surfaces and structures, and even outdoor furniture. A sealer is ideal for cedar, teak, and mahogany where seeing the natural color and grain are important. Number 2. What is deck stain? Deck stains protect the wood from moisture, precipitation, rot, mold, and mildew. They also have a color pigment or tint added that prevents wood from grain due to UV rays and sun damage. Deck stain is similar to deck sealer, except it offers more protection from the sun, minimizing the grain of the wood. Stains are water or oil-based and range from semi-transparent to opaque, with darker, more solid colors offering better UV protection. A stain can enhance the color of the wood and provide a more consistent palette. Number 3. Deck Sealing vs Staining. A deck sealer is a clear or slightly tinted water or oil-based product. It soaks into the wood grain, sealing it to prevent moisture damage, mold, mildew, and rot. Additionally, some products have additives to protect against UV rays and sun damage. Sealing a deck is best for cedar, teak, mahogany, or other quality woods as it enhances the wood grain and natural color. Staining a deck protects the wood from mold, mildew, moisture, and rot, and UV rays and sun damage. The stain is available in transparent, semi-transparent, semi-opaque, and solid colors. The thicker the color, the more UV protection it provides. Number 4. Do I have to stain or seal my new deck? Untreated and pressure-treated wood that is exposed to the elements will dry out, crack, split, twist, and discolor. Some wood has natural oils that protect them and will last a bit longer. Once the wood dries out, it is easy for insects, mold, and mildew to damage the wood. The dry wood is also susceptible to moisture damage and rot. The longer you wait to seal or stain your deck, the more damage to your investment. Number 5. Do you need to seal wood after staining? Adding a sealer over a stain isn't advisable. The stain will protect the wood the same as the sealer. However, since the stain has already sealed the wood grain, the sealer won't penetrate, or penetrate well, and will peel and flake. Adding stain over the sealer will have the same results. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe our channel.